A giant of a vehicle is getting new license plates. It's going to be taking to the highway in the U.S. state of Nevada. It's the only place where it's allowed to move freely. And this is the big rig that's going to be wearing the plates. A Freightliner Inspiration truck outfitted with a Highway Pilot Autonomous Driving System, developed by Mercedes. Martin Seilinger of Daimler says this truck complements the Mercedes-Benz Future Truck 2025, which they presented last year in Germany. It's a milestone for U.S. Freightliner rigs, the first time ever that a heavy-duty, self-driving truck has been granted a license for public road use. This truck is one of two autonomous trucks that have been licensed for public roads in regular traffic in Nevada. It's still a prototype. Eventually, Mercedes plans to put driverless, long-haul rigs into series production. The first test took place last year on a cordoned-off section of a German Autobahn. Afterwards, Mercedes continued testing the highway pilot, clocking up 16,000 kilometers per vehicle on a test circuit and configuring it for use on U.S. highways. The Freightliner Inspiration truck is based on the U.S. Freightliner Cascadia Evolution model with the addition of the highway pilot system. Martin Seilinger says the sensor includes a stereo camera which monitors the highway's lane lines and keeps the truck in the lane. The radar sensors at the front of the truck regulate the distance to the vehicle ahead of it. And there are interfaces to the powertrain, brakes and steering which is used for lateral guidance. Cameras offer the driver a view around the entire vehicle. When the driver activates the highway pilot, the truck takes over the steering. Currently, that's allowed up to speeds of 60 miles an hour. The highway pilot lets the driver know when they need to step in, for example, when there's a construction site or when the truck leaves the highway. In the meantime, the driver can do other things, like take orders or coordinate connections. Martin Seilinger says the driver is the core component of the system. They're not going to eliminate the driver. They're looking for optimal ways to assist and support the driver. Autonomous driving systems will help the driver stay fit and alert, so it's an important part of driver safety and of economical operation. The Freightliner's interior is light and friendly in its design. During the haul, the driver stays in the driver's seat, but the rig also has an area for the driver to relax during breaks. Martin says the company carried out tests on their own test circuit. They determined that when truckers work on something else, autonomous driving helps reduce driver fatigue by about 25 percent. That's an added safety bonus for everyone on the road. The highway pilot steers the rig and keeps it within the lane lines. It also has a collision prevention function, which maintains the set speed or adjusts it through braking. But it doesn't initiate lane changes or pass other vehicles. The technology will be ready for series production in about 10 years. So which will be ready first, self-driving trucks or self-driving cars? Wolfgang Bernhardt of Daimler says, we'll see self-driving trucks on long stretches of highway first before driverless cars in the city. Highway traffic patterns on the highway are much less complex, and trucks are on the road for long hours each day, so the technology is more urgent and useful there. That gives the trucking industry an edge, but the regulatory framework isn't there yet. Road traffic regulations need to be adapted, and that raises a lot of questions. One issue is what conditions manufacturers need to meet to get a system licensed and street legal. But discussions are underway with the regulatory authorities, and he's confident these issues will all be addressed in the next few years.